finds you, Radovan Karadzic, not guilty of count one genocide. Guilty of the following counts. Count two, genocide. Count three. Radovan Karadzic, the former Bosnian Serb leader, has been sentenced to 40 years in jail after being found guilty of 10 out of 11 charges, including genocide and other war crimes by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. The war began in 1992 when Bosniaks and Croats voted for independence from the former Yugoslavia Federation in a referendum that was boycotted by Serbs. Under Karadzic's leadership, Serbs laid siege to the capital of Sarajevo for three years. They also killed and persecuted Muslims and Croats with the aim to carve out the Serb Republic. Tens of thousands were imprisoned. In the town of Srebrenica, 8,000 Muslims died in the worst war crime in Europe since World War II. In 1995, the United Nations War Crimes Tribunal charged Karadzic with 20 separate war crimes, including genocide and crimes against humanity. But it wasn't until 1997 that he lost power and went into hiding, managing to evade many high-profile attempts by NATO forces to capture him. He hid by posing as Dragan David Davik, a doctor of alternative medicine, growing a beard and his hair. It was under this disguise he was arrested on a bus in Belgrade in July 2008. He was then extradited to the Netherlands to face the ICTY in The Hague. Karadzic's 40-year sentence will be reduced by slightly more than seven years for the time he's spent in detention, but it is expected he will appeal. In an interview ahead of the verdict, he said he had worked to uphold peace and deserved praise, not punishment. Count 10 unlawful attacks on civilians or violation of the laws or customs of war.